in the normal muffler. That's uh, all they do with the straight pipe. So we're gonna stick this son of a bitch in fucking, uh, probably in, I don't know what that is there, B, probably B1. Now we got this big fucking thing behind it. We're gonna just step it out of the way. Well, how's she going today, guys? The old 7721 here is going to make her triumphant return after taking a year off. But the 5020 is going to get to do a job that I'm fairly certain it's never done, and that's run a combine. So, Let's see if it still turns over here when he hits the PTO. Something doesn't sound good here for some reason. Oh, I hope that's not broken. Okay, we'll bring you back here in a minute, so. Well, we got the 7721 sorted out. Now, uh, Grandpa Henry, well, I got the Easy On Disc hooked up to the 835, just because the four-wheel drive will be a lot smoother going across this braking the second time over than uh, one of the two-wheel drives. That's pretty piss-ass little disc for behind there, but he can just idle and not burn any fuel that way, so he's gonna work everything at an angle here now. That broke everything going that way. So now he's going like that. It's doing a really, really nice job. Like, there's spots left big chunks, and you can see he went over it here. Sliced it all up real nice. So go over it once like that, and then leave it sit till later on in the fall here, and I'll probably go over it once with a set of spikes and harrow it. And I think that's going to be pretty much good to seed into. Maybe a guy will harrow it one more time ahead of the air seeder next year and just drag the the root lumps around one more time and knock the dirt out of them, but had six tenths of rain here yesterday and that's what we were kind of waiting for to make this second pass. You get a little bit of moisture like that on it and makes things work up way, way nicer, so. Anyway, I suppose carry on with the program here and we'll talk to you again in a few the poor little harrows but they work so good to beat up those lumps of sod <laughs> You're back, are you? <laughs> there, well I told him if it takes you two weeks to do it, it takes you two weeks to do it if he only wants to do a couple hours a day or whatever, but saves me from uh, trying to combine and do that because this is something else that's got to get done when the time is right like this after a shot of rain so I said there's only 60 or 80 acres out here so I mean 20 feet at a time but 
five and a half miles an hour, it's not going to take them very long. So, anyway, our ride is here now, so we will go to the next part of this program. Hop down, Skippy. <laughs> well, day later, and uh, we're just driving by one of my canola patches here. We're looking pretty good. We are on our way to the Peas, or in the 2188 here with the 35 or 36 foot flex header on here. And then uh, Dad is just a little ways behind with the 9600 with the 30 foot rigid. That 960 Mac on, and then Amanda is behind with the one ton. We're gonna rip a sample, and if it's good, we'll give her shit, and if it's tough, we gotta get the 860 out here. So, I mean, either way, the 860 is gonna come. Uh, we got all the grain trucks out here already. Uh, Mum's gone to a run down in the state, so she's gonna be gone for a while, so we're not gonna have a truck driver at all. We'll just go till trucks are loaded and then unload. Uh, Sam there, the guy that hauled grain last year, well, he's gonna be around for a little bit here, but right now he's gone too, and then he's off to university to get learnt with Ricky, I guess, to get a little bit smarter or whatever he's going to do, so <laughs> other than that, we're going to be uh, a little bit short-handed, I guess, but that's all right. Anyway, we will get out there and see how things are testing, get combines and all that set anyway, and go from there, so yeah, we'll talk to you when we get there. Well, we've been combining for a little while here, but the 860 is 860-ing, and I'm broked it, broked it down. Kind of a funny fuck up here, this one. The feed fingers are held in with an R-pin, and the R-pin either broke or fell out, and that allowed the feed finger to fall down into the holder too far. And then it got out of its holder, came around, bent the fuck out of this feed finger, bent itself in half, and then it come through the fucking door and broke the bolt. So now I can't get it out of there. So we're gonna have to, I'm just gonna cut the hoor off and we'll deal with that when we get it back to the yard. So cut it off, put a new bolt back in here, and then we'll spin it around and see if that's gonna cause this grief a guy might have to take it out too or something but anyway that's what we're doing so I'll bring you back in a minute Amanda's over there giving her with the 21 dad's there with the 9600 buddy's there giving her with the 2290 and the 567 look at the pretty bales there fucking king Anyway, we'll get this fixed, and we'll talk to you in a minute. I hear a little bit of click-clack, click-clack on the header here. I must have a uh, rubber that cracked and fell off on one of the feed fingers, so... peas are dry but the straw is a little bit tough yet not super tough but not super dry either so it makes the old girl work a little bit here in it well back 
in her natural habitat, ass backed in the shop with a sieve laying on the ground. Rob's just over there unloading another load. I'm gonna have to get him to come give me a hand here in a minute. I'll show you what went on. So the whole shoe quit moving and I got out and I seen this hanger hanging here out of the bushing. And then I looked in and seen the whole shoe was cattywampus and hanging down. See how that's supposed to be? See how that's down? It's supposed to be in there. And uh, this hairpin and washer are gone. So I think what happened is that fucking wore right through or something. And it fell apart because Antoine and I a few years ago had had this shoe out, redone everything, new bushings, etc. Well, you can see all that shiny. So something went on there anyway, and that fell apart. So we'll have to get a washer that will fit on there, and uh, a washer that will fit on there, and a new hairpin. So when Rob gets over here, I'm going to get him to help me square that back up. And then I'd throw the sieve back in and a lot easier and quicker of a fix than what I thought this was going to be. So anyway, we'll be back at her before they're done at least. I've been fucking around for like an hour and a half watching the rain cloud come. Got that sieve together, kicked it in and it still didn't work. What the fuck? So turning things over by hand, I could roll it backwards and backwards till I was blue in the face and it would go forward a little ways and you'd kick the machine in and quit. What the fuck? And then I noticed the feed finger missing. How in the flying Christ? <laughs> Lord, give me strength. So we're going to see if we can, I don't know, beat it out of there? I don't know. 